If it bears fruit, where? If it doesn't, one more year. Cut it down. Somebody say one more year. Somebody say one more year. One more year. One more year. The unfruitful fig tree in a vineyard. The unfruitful fig tree in the vineyard. An unfruitful fig tree in the vineyard seems an awkward to many of us, especially preachers. Many a times we look at this parable. Who builds a vineyard and plants a fig tree in there? So from the high side, it looks like the fig tree was out of place. But whether the fig tree is out of place or in place, the Lord said, someone planted a vineyard and planted also a fig tree. Hallelujah. A God has a purpose of putting things which will look to man as if it is in the wrong way. But it's not, it's not like that. How can God pick Joseph from his family? And planted him in city like Egypt. It does not make sense. So Joseph becomes like a fig tree in the vineyard of Egypt. Yet he bore fruit. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter where we are planted. It doesn't matter what culture we find ourselves in. It doesn't matter what environment we as the children of God are placed. The Lord requires of us to bear fruit. And fruit we must bear. Hallelujah. There is a symbiosis association between the fig tree and the vine. So my listeners, if you have ever said this plant was planted in the wrong place, don't ever see it that way. There is a symbiosis association between the two. Now, and those the of you, the right season came, the owner came, and this fig tree had nothing to give the owner. He pronounced judgment instantly on the fig tree. Then the gardener said, Please. Please, give me some time. Give me one more year. Beloved, you may not be bearing fruit. You may be struggling. You are planted in a good land. You are planted in Italy or Germany or UK or America. Let me sound this warning. That which makes you produce, it is not about the land in which you live. That soil where this fig tree was planted was a good one. It was a good one. So how come this tree was not bearing fruit? That is why the owner said, chop the tree. The, man, the, the gardener said, give me one more year. I will put fertilizer around it. I will give it special attention. Never say special attention. I will give it special attention. And if after all this special attention, it doesn't bear fruit, cut it off. Say this after me. It doesn't matter which land I live. My fruition, my prosperity is not based where I live. Do you believe that? Deuteronomy 8 says, remember, remember what? That it is the Lord who gives you enablement. Other scriptures use what? Power. Ever say remember. 
If you are listening to me wherever, which country you are, you can be in Germany and struggling for survival. You can be in America. There are people in America who are picking food from garbage. It's here over there, here in the UK. Go to the city. Those of you who want to come here, you said, if you come and see even Heathrow with your eyes and they repatriate you, you will die in peace. You will lie bad. Hallelujah. There are people at Oxford streets who are sleeping in boxes. Have you been there? I've been there so many times in the night. I've seen people with their dogs sleeping in boxes. And they are Caucasians. Say, I have got something inside of me that makes me bear fruit. Please, I keep on dwelling on this. I'm preparing the ground for the rest of the sermon. I won't, we have, I'm just making the introduction about the fig tree. We'll still look at the fig tree, the whole of fig tree first. Then I'll bring the lesson that Jesus wants to tell us from that three, about three, four verses. Every day you wake up, there is grace sufficient for you to make it. Somebody in the heavens is pleading on your behalf. God, don't chop her off. Don't give up on her. Don't get rid of that man. Didn't Jesus say on the cross, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. The owner said it's a waste of place and time. But our gardener, when Mary saw him after the resurrection, Bible said Mary thought he was what? The gardener, the dresser of the cemetery. He said, please, if you know where they put my Lord, he said, Mary, I am he. Hallelujah. There is somebody interceding on your behalf. There is somebody who hasn't given up on you. You might be drinking your head quack. You might be smoking your lungs out. You might be inserting toxic into your blood vein. Maybe you might be listening to me and you are planning I'm robbery. Your guns are loaded. Somebody is still giving you one day at a time. Change your mind. Repent. For every single day is another chance for you to make it. Stop crying. Weep no more. Sit down. Take a plan. Start dreaming about your future job. Start drawing your future home. Start making plans for the future. Don't just sit down there and cry. Don't look at your present circumstances. Help will come from somewhere. Somebody will give you fertilizer. Somebody is asking for one more chance for you to make it. You can make it. We will continue this next week. Hallelujah. Say somebody is interceding on my behalf. Somebody is praying for me. Somebody. I might not know, but there is somebody out there who is calling God on my behalf. Is pleading on my behalf. Father, give him one more year. One more chance. Father, in the name of your son, Jesus. As I introduce this series, the unfruitful fig tree, and the chance that this tree was given. Father, let everyone that is hearing me, who feels hopeless, feels their back is against the wall, nothing can be done. Let hope arise in them. 
that it is not over yet that they still have some days ahead somebody will inject new strength new power new anointing something new into them to help them make it let that student that student oh father once 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 upon a time i was a student i was i thought i would never survive in this country 1998 1999 i couldn't pay school fees it has about a week to go and my visa will expire jesus but you came true for me may you come true for that student may you come true for that businessman whose business is almost has only little time that the business will be taken from them that man who has a house and couldn't pay the mortgage because of job loss or something and they have given them time to repossess their house father just come in at the nick of time and save the situation that man or woman who is has been put in a restraint has been restrained and they are about to deport that person father somehow some way somehow some way send somebody who will go and open the door for them whether illegally or legally and say listen go and live your life in the united kingdom go and live your life in america go and live your life you are not going home you are not going home through it all through it all i have learned to trust in jesus i have learned to trust in god through it all Amen. We have just heard from Reverend Ebenezer Abel, and we hope you have been blessed by the message. This has been brought to you by the faithful friends and family of Mana Mission here in the UK. This is the place where we proclaim the message of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is our prayer that you will join us in worship here at Mana on Sundays and on Fridays. Our place of worship is number 31 to 33 London Road, back in IG 11 AA. We meet on Sundays from 1 to 3.30 and on Fridays from 7 to 9.30 p.m. For more information, please call 079-31-105137 or 0208-594-1559. The words that we speak to you are spirit and life. For it is the spirit that gives life. The flesh profits nothing. Until then, stay connected and God richly bless you. Amen. <laughs>